Hello magical people all around the world, my name is Nora and welcome to my channel! Today I'm going to do a Harry Potter haul from all the items that I purchased recently online. It's going to include some Wish products, some products from Cauldron Crate, Geek Gear and a bag that I recently purchased in Primark. I think we should take a look at um, Geek Gear's um, little items that I purchased. First of all, I bought a t-shirt from their webshop. It's, this t-shirt is uh, a Ford Anglia t-shirt that they uh, um, made for one of their uh, subscription boxes. Originally I thought it had a little uh, pocket um, on it, but it didn't. But I still really like the print and you can see Harry and Ron inside uh, with Hedwig. And I thought this was a really cute t-shirt for um, sleeping. If you want to use it outside or with a little jeans, I thought it's gonna be really cute. Um, yeah, so this item is from the McGonagall box uh, and I thought it's really, really nice. I haven't seen this one yet. It's a little magnifier. I remember as, as soon as I loaded it in the web shop, I knew this was from the Philosopher's Stone and it was like standing at uh, McGonagall's um, desk. And I just thought it really resembled her uh, quirkiness and um, her style. So I thought this is a really, really cute mini replica that I would like to have on my shelf. And next up from Geek Here, I also ordered um, a Dumbledore item basically. And uh, this is a really cute miniature uh, menu, like a menu board. And it has a uh, sherbet lemon written on it. Um, I found this really uh, cute and I thought um, that sweets that Dumbledore eats are really precious for his character. So I thought it would really look good on my shelf. Okay, so these three little items I purchased from Geek Gear. I'm not sub subscribed to, to their uh, monthly boxes. However, I'm going to do an unboxing for their upcoming uh, potion special edition. Um, that is going to ship, I think, um, end June or middle June, uh, we will see. And uh, next up, I will do the Wish um, purchases. Those are just little items that I thought I will need to have because I'm a, a collector who basically started uh, her journey just recently, so I don't have a lot of items yet, but uh, I'm going to unbox everything that I get and I did find some nice things on Wish, even though they are not merchandise items. I do thought this is cute. Okay, I actually purchased a pin, uh, a pin badger. It's a really mini one that you can hang on your shelves. Um, I got this package actually a long time ago, so I haven't opened it since then. But I, if I remember correctly, I actually purchased the um, beige color, not the black one. Um, I'm still going to use it though, and I think it's really handy since uh, I am going to have a lot of pins coming in um, future boxes. So I definitely think it's a handy item. I know that a lot of you might not like uh, this character, but one of my favorite characters from Harry Potter is Severus Snape. And when I saw this um, phone cover online on Wish, I thought it's really um, a nice phone case if you are a Severus Snape fan. And he looks a little bit younger on this uh, phone case actually than uh, in the movies, obviously, because Alan Rickman played him. And I thought this is really nice uh, when I work. Uh, it has like a, this black um, color, so it can like, you know, get dirty and I can clean it easily. It's funny because I haven't seen these items. They were just like standing in boxes for like a long period of time. Uh -huh. So this is a, a pen that I purchased on Wish and solely because of the reason that uh, I was curious how their quality is going to be like when you order one of these. These are very affordable pins. I'm not sure how much was it. I think it was around six or seven euros, um, but uh, I have to check it later. It's um, Felix Felicis little pin. Not working. 
Anyway, so this is a Felix Felicis portion. I do like the details in it. You can't seriously see it on the video, but it has this really glittery, uh, glittering orange color. And um, the name of the potion, Felix Felicis, is also in the middle. And it has a really nice um, golden shine to it. And it's pretty um, clear, clear one, so I really like it. I do think that inside the potion, it is the soft enable because it kind of, you know, is sunken inside of it. But I do still really like it. I think it's really cute. Next up, we're going to do the final uh, box that I caught. It's from Cauldron Crate. What I know about Cauldron Crate, I've been a really huge fan of Liana's work actually and I've seen a bunch of other youtubers who open her boxes however I haven't been able to afford her subscription boxes yet possibly I'm going to do the uh, next of the Horcrux boxes which is the Tom, Tom Riddle's ring the Riddle ring um, but that one is coming out in August so um, I haven't subscribed to it yet but I'm probably going to do because I think her items are just so amazing. She's such a genuine person and her replicas are really cute. Well, I know what I ordered from Cauldron Kate. I do have to show you. It came separately. So this box was attached to, to uh, this extra item. So I kind of ripped the little sticker that Liana puts on her boxes. But I still, I still wanted to keep it. Maybe next time I will be able to do that. So when you open Liana's boxes, you have this little purple cover, which is really, really cute. And have these purple paper fillers. And I found it so, uh, you know, visually um, nice to look at. I'm just going to like dig in the boxes and pick out items one by one. Uh, I don't exactly uh, remember all the items that I ordered, but uh, most of them I do. So the first one I'm going to open this one, it's a little bubble wrap. Oh, I know which one is it. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, I really wanted to get this item. I do remember this one. Okay. Ooh. It's on the ground now. Great. Oh my God. It looks even better than on the pictures. So this is a replica of puking pastels. And it has a little V Weasley stamp on the top of it. And it has actually edible little puking pastels in it. And it's written on it, the Skyving Snack Box Collection. It's really, really nice. I really like the color of the purple um, ribbon that she chose, um, color of the orange ribbon that she chose and the, the purple wax seal. I think it's really, really nice. So it's a little velvet pouch. There are two things that could be inside of this. I'm not sure which one is this one. So I'm just going to open it now. Eee. Uh -huh. So it's wrapped also in uh, this little paper, uh, purple paper. It's a lighter color though. Yes, this is the resurrection stone that she did for her Deathly Hallows box, I think. And it was inside a bath bomb. However, I got this in a set. And since I don't have a, a bath, um, I thought it's really nice to just have the, the, the stone itself. Also, this is quite affordable compared to other uh, resurrection stone replicas that I found, even though it does not have the Deathly Hallows symbol inside of it. Um, this is really, really great when you just want to have an affordable replica. Okay, this is a paper replica. I haven't seen this one in real life, or it might remind you. Oh my god, I know which one is this. Okay. So, this paper replica is Albus Percival Wolfric Brian Dumbledore's Last Wheel. It has the stamp of the Ministry of Magic on it and the stamp of Hogwarts. And it's written inside who, uh, who, to whom uh, Albus will leave um, his uh, belongings. 
first to Ronald Billius Weasley. I leave my Deluminator, a device of my own making, in the hope that when things seem the most dark, it will show him the light. To Miss Hermione Jane Granger, I leave my copy of the Tales of Beedle, the Bard, in the hope that she will find it, find it entertaining and instructive. And to Harry James Potter, I leave the snitch he caught in his first match at Hogwarts as a reminder of the rewards of perseverance and skill, and etc. etc. So you can also fold it um, outside like this, but I do not want to break the back seal. Um, so I'm going to just leave it like that. But if you purchase it from Lilian, you will be able to also unfold this if you wish. This other velvet pouch, I think I know what's inside of it since I already opened the Resurrection Stone. And this is going to be a replica of the DA coin. Oh my god. This is so heavy. I did not expect this to be this heavy. It's amazing. Okay, let me open this little plastic big. So it has, it's that it says, I don't know if you can see it, it says DA on it. It is numbered uh, as the 050298, which, which is actually the, the date of their meeting. You know, they use these DA coins to communicate with each other in the Order of the Phoenix, um, Dumbledore's army. Uh, and this date is like May the 2nd, uh, 98. The other side of it is there is a dragon. Wow, it's so shiny. <laughs> so there is this dragon, it says Fortius Quo Fidelis. This is really, really, really amazing quality. I really like the engravings. I think it's really beautiful. So this was this was actually um, the part of the set that I purchased with the Resurrection Stone. It's the invincibility cloak but in a scarf version look how beautiful it is wow it's a pretty pretty long material i think it's really nice it has the, all these little stars and constellations on it you can you know rub it around make a little scarf for yourself or you can use it Scarf. Do, 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 do. Like this. It's a really soft material as well. I do like the quality. I haven't uh, seen or purchased any other invincibility cloak replicas, but uh, this is a really nice one. Okay. Oh, I did find a hole inside of it, but that's fine. It's just a tiny one. Okay, so if you would like a really nice invisibility cloak scarf, then go to Golden Crate and purchase it. I think I'm going to go for another paper replica, which I um, purchased um, on purpose because I really like the purple color that Liana is using. And I love how this envelope has also a similar purple color, obviously like in the movies. And it says Miss Hermione Granger, the borough, Authority Catchpole Devon. So, this is um, Hermione's results, I think, for the Ordinary Wizarding Level Examination. Ordinary Wizarding Levels Examination results. And it also has a golden stamp from the Ministry of Magic. Um, I really, I want to say that I really, really like how the paper is not like too thin. It's like really like this parchment material and it has a little bit of yellowish color, which I think makes it even more prettier. And I just love how authentic it looks and how good quality it is. And it really wasn't, wasn't expect expensive. So, and this one is a letter from Gringotts, the wizarding bank. Oh God, I don't know how to open this without breaking this uh, little sticker on it. Okay, I'm going to suffer with it for a while now. Just uh, don't mind me. Okay, 
again because it's not coming out very well. <sighs> please don't break, please don't break. Oi, oi. Let's just be patient. Okay. Oh, great, so I opened it. And inside this little envelope, you can see a letter from Green Gods. It's really like ashy ash type of color, like a little grayish. And it says, Dear customer, enclosed is your new Green Gods vault key. Please remember to, to bring this and your wand for identification when making a withdrawal. Failure to provide either of these items will result in you being denied access to your vault. Thank you for your business. Snorkbeck, head goblin, the bank of the brain gods. Which is really, really cool. However, the weather is not the only reason I purchased this um, little brain gods envelope, but the key itself. So I chose the number 643. Don't ask me why, I was just, uh, probably it was on the picture as well. But I do love how this looks like. It has like three little loops in it. And it is really just a tiny little key that you would expect for me to bring up. I don't remember anything else to be honest, but I'm going to do this because it's fun. I have to clean it up later. These are so amazing. Okay. Um, no, there isn't. However, there is still one thing left from Leanne. And this was coming with the Resurrection Stone. The third item of the Deathly Hallows, next to the Invincibility Scar and the Stone, is Opus Dumbledore's Wand the elder wand wow okay so my video accidentally clogged but never mind uh, we're going to carry on so i was just talking about the elder wand and i said that i did not accept expect this to be this long and uh detailed although of course i know in the books this is supposed to be the longest one but i really like the little details on it and the, the rooms in the middle i think it's really beautiful um, and of course it came in a set together with with the other Deathly Hallows. And the last item that I would like to show you is a bag that I purchased from Primark. Uh, this bag was the only bag that I could find next to uh, another one um, that was like a chibi style Harry Potter bag, which I did not find my style to my liking. Um, but this one is, I think, really uh, wearable for, for adults as well. It has Harry's wand here on the front pocket and the Hogwarts emblem. It also has uh, the, kind of like this Marauders map style with the little food patterns. And uh, it says also wizards and witches, wizards and witches going around it. And the little uh, black uh, Hogwarts emblems around the whole bag. It is pretty big, you know, so you can put like a lot of stuff in it. You can uh, take it to work or take it to school. And um, so I definitely recommend this if you guys are going to uh, Primark in the near future. Okay, so this was all for today. I really hope you enjoyed this first Harry Potter haul, Harry Potter uh, unboxings. Uh, I don't think I can choose an item that I did not really like. Uh, except maybe the pin banner, uh, which came in a black color instead of a beige color. Uh, but I know that Wish is a big uh, company, so this kind of um, little mishaps happen. Um, yeah, I don't think I will send it back though, because I think that I'm gonna get pins in the near future that will be, uh, that will look good um, with a black background. Yes, so uh, thank you guys and see you next time.